Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from ComputerGuardGuard.com This tutorial will validate email addresses entered into an Excel spreadsheet. On the spreadsheet at the moment I want to be able to enter some email addresses in column A and I want to set up some data validation criteria to check that them email addresses are valid. I'm going to do this check by checking three things. I want to check that the at symbol is present, I want to check that the period or full stop is present and I want to check that there are no spaces. And these three checks should make sure that the email address syntax is correct. What it will do that once the check is done, it's going to inform the user with a typical data validation error message uh, that there was a mistake made entering the email address so that that mistake can be rectified. Okay, first things first, I'm going to select the cells that I want to apply these validation criteria to. I'm going to select cells A2 to A10 just for simplicity in this example. But also you'd select whatever column, row, range of cells uh, that is needed. I'm going to, on the data tab, go to the data validation button. And from the settings tab, I'm going to choose custom from the allow list. So I need to enter a formula. What I'm going to use is the and function. Because I need to test three different bits of criteria, I'm going to have the and logic. So it's going to test all three things and make sure that all three are true. First thing I want to check is for the at symbol. And I'm going to use the find function to try and find the at symbol within the text. So I'm going to tell it to look for the at symbol within cell A2. Yeah, so the very first cell, and I'm using a relative reference so that I'm referring to all the cells within that range. So find the at symbol, comma, what's the next condition? Well, uh, I want to find again. I'm going to try and find a full stop or a period within A2. So look for a period. If a period is present, that's a good thing. If it's not, then that's not valid. Last of all, this one's going to be a little bit different. I need to make sure there are no spaces. Now, if I do a find function, which I will do to look for a space, uh, if it finds one, then that's the problem. So what I actually want to do is find an error message. You know, if it doesn't find it, it will bring back an error message, and that's what I want. I want to make sure that there are not spaces present. So I'm going to use the isError function to tell me if an error message has been found. And I'm going to use the find function to look for a space within A2. And the isError to tell me if it's been unsuccessful. Okay, now on my three conditions. One more closing bracket on the end. I've got three. Looking for the at symbol, the period, and the, the spaces. But is error to make sure that spaces were not found. These are all entered into an and function for that and logic. Last thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to go to my error alert tab. Okay, can I an error? I'm going to say yes. Uh, <coughs> see how that works in one second. I'm going to go to my error alert tab, and I'm just going to put in a warning message. Okay. The email address includes a at full stop or spaces. That should really say the address should include an at and a period. Let's change this around a little bit. I'll put some brackets around there so people know what a period is. It should not contain spaces. Okay, so we know what what's going on and what we should be checking for. It's going to let me know it's evaluating to an error again, but I'm going to say OK. So I believe this should be OK. And let's check it out. If I had rob at aol.com, then that's OK. Meets all the conditions. How about Stephen uh, at gmail.com? No at symbol used. 
and it's not happy. The email just should include an at symbol and a period. It should not contain spaces. Okay, I'll retry. Let's retry that. Put in the at symbol, and we're okay. How about Beth space at yahoo.co.uk? Oh, I'm spelling that wrong already. Once again, there's a problem. This email address should include an at symbol and a period. It does, but it should not contain spaces. Oh, I've put a space in. That's the error there. So here you can see, there's my data validation criteria. You know, correct syntax is okay. Where there's been problems, it is informing the user of the problem, preventing an invalid email address being entered. Thank you for watching. Please check out some of our other tips and tutorials at computergargard.com.